Oh my guys, it is a dark and stormy day here in the end times in Doomsday Trailer in Dunnellan, Florida here on this exciting Wednesday, March 27th, 2024. But we do have some good news from Dunnellan, Florida. So this, this is just the latest story on... Uh, uh, on how humans just fuck everything up. Uh, you know, I already have uh, this turtle <clears throat> nest out here uh, in, in the damn driveway right th th where I'm supposed to be driving my truck over. So I've got that all marked off uh, to keep those baby turtles from getting killed by my gas-sucking truck keep the fucking raccoons from digging them up and eating them. So the other uh, developing story here in Denali, you, you know that I've been following this family of sandhill cranes, our, our neighborhood family of sandhill cranes. If you remember the story uh, <clears throat> that earlier this year they built their nest and they had their baby. Uh, Sandhill cranes just have one or two babies. So they had, they, they chased away the poor yearling from last year, put them through all that emotional trauma. So they hatch their new baby out, and that baby, I think he was three days old on the third day of his life. Yes, he was uh, attacked and eaten by an alligator uh, down by the dock. So that was the end of that baby crane. So the, so the cranes, they moved their nest from that point over to this little island out uh, right off the dock uh, and, and rebuilt their nest. I, I didn't see how it was going to keep their baby from having, uh, from getting eaten by a goddamn alligator again. Anyway, they go there, they rebuild their nest. It was early enough in the year, fortunately, for them to start the process all over again. So uh, they've been sitting on their, uh, their egg or their eggs for uh, uh, the, the past few weeks. It's a 32-day incubation period. So. Like there, there is a woman down there last night at sunset at the dock with her uh, binoculars, telling me she goes, you know, she goes, I think the baby uh, that I think I see a uh, a baby over there, and I'm saying, all right, well maybe this one won't get eaten by a goddamn alligator, or run over by a fucking airboat or whatever. So anyway, the babies were born, and so I get up this morning. And before this big ass thunderstorm moved in, get out there on my gator and, and head down to the dock. All right, so we have some good news. So instead of one baby sandhill crane, we now have two. So they, they had one baby. He got eaten by an alligator. And so they went and started over. So they now have two babies. I, I'm still unclear how the babies got from the island over to the mainland. You know, over where I am on the mainland, I'm, I'm totally unclear. They obviously did not fly. Uh, you know, they're, they're about the size of little chickens, about the size of bandy roosters, and they have all of this little fluffy brown down. They, there's no way they fly, so they I, I, I guess that they obviously, unless they walk on water like Jesus, I, I guess these brand new baby chicks that were just born in the past day or two swam across the channel. But anyway, they were out and about, so the proud new parents, uh, you, you know, walking around the neighborhood with their babies and uh, you know, all right, so you know, the, the proud mom and daddy with her two brand new little babies uh, walking up and down the road. So I went and 
had my cup of coffee, then the storm started rolling in. So I get back on the gator to come back home. And guess what has already happened? This is the very first. These little guys were born either yesterday or the day before. This is the first time they have ever left the nest. Their very first day out of the nest, they make it across the alligator infested water to get to uh, the safe side over here. The safe side meaning the side colonized by humans and in the time that it took me to drink a cup of coffee uh, what they managed to do is so all of my fucking the, these rich guys uh, across the way uh, they, they have these big expanses of lawn and every one of these fuckers has a chain link fence and we have no room to talk. There's a chain link fence here at Doomsday Trailer. Uh, so I don't know what it is uh, about people's love affairs with these fucking chain link fences. So every one of those rich people, their, their yards are divided by these fucking chain link fences. And so in the time it took me to have a cup of coffee, somehow in that amount of time, both of the babies had managed to get on one side of the chain link fence and the parents were on the other side of the chain link fence just going you know back and forth in, in, in a total panic the uh, the little babies trying to get to their parents and, and, and their clueless fucking moron parents trying to get to them uh, good God Obviously, the baby cranes can't get across the fucking fence, but there, there's two full-grown sandhill cranes. All they got to do is fly across the fucking fence. And so that's the last I saw of them. Uh, I said, okay, uh, Emma, what are your choices here? I thought about getting off the fucking gator and just hurting the babies around the end of the fence to put them on the same side of the fence as the parents. I, I, I guess they've worked it out and, 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 and then of course so they're in this fucking freak out. Here comes a big ass thunderstorm rolling in. I have to get my ass out of the rain. So last I saw these brand new baby chicks already in a complete fucking panic freak out because they've run into this thing called a fucking chain link fence and their clueless fucking moron parents don't know how to fly over the fucking fence. Jesus fucking Christ, if the alligators don't get you, the goddamn humans will. You know? I, I, I just get so fucking sick and tired of humans. Just, <laughs> just what the fuck it must be like to, to be one of our fellow earthlings just, just dealing with us and, and, and our motherfucking chain link fences and all of this crap oh Jesus fucking Christ anyway so much for the good news uh I'll see if I find two dead baby cranes dying of a fucking heart attack uh, beside a chain link fence on their first walk out of their goddamn nest. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. This shit, this shit just never ends. Anyway, I'm back to my uh, exciting life in Doomsday Trailer. I was watching in my in my boredom this uh, comedian on Netflix <coughs> named uh, David Attell, A-T-E-L-L, -L, never heard of the guy. He is fucking funny, I recommend it. But he, you know, he was, part of his shtick 
was about essentially uh, becoming a uh, you, you know a, a an old man with broken teeth stranded without love and he so he's doing a comedy routine about growing old and lonely uh, in America and he goes do you know what the loneliest sight in the world is he said it's your own reflection in the door of your microwave oven I thought that was uh, was, was quite profound the loneliest sight in the world the sight of your own reflection in your microwave oven. Uh, anybody uh, who has seen their own reflection in, uh, in, in their microwave oven waiting for their fucking little microwaved dinner to get cooked so they can eat another goddamn meal alone in a fucking trailer in the end of a dirt road in a swamp in Florida in the rain. I am off to go pop something in the microwave and have a look at the loneliest sight in America as the storm rolls on. Bye guys.